community to give us the strength we need to move forward. Father, we pray that you give us. In the last two years, correct me if I'm wrong, y'all have not discussed anything about safety concerns in the last two years, and this is public record. Anybody can pull this up on the school district. I have a binder at home about this thick with nothing but printouts from y'all. Nothing but from y'all. And there's nothing in there about school safety. And now my son is dead because y'all didn't address it. Now, I had to fight my way to get onto the safety council meeting. I'm not saying that I'm any better than anybody else in this room, but the only thing that makes me different is that I don't have my baby. That's the only thing that makes me different. Now, I'm finally on the safety, I'm on the safety um, committee. I'm so happy about that because I got to meet y'all. I got to hear, I got to hear what y'all had to say. And I have to say a little bit, it made me feel good. But as I stand here, there's at least four y'all that's on the same committee that y'all are talking about to bring it to this table to make a decision that y'all are already making over there. It's not fair. It's not fair. It sucks that we're here. It really does. And I'm sorry that it needs to be said that way, but it needs to change now, not later. Not by the 16th, not by the 10th. Why are we approving this when we should have been approving something for our kids? There have been comments made that our board has its mind made up on things. I can tell you right now that is not true. In fact, the board right now is very engaged and we have some very diverse opinions about how we should move forward. Over time, the Safety and Security Committee is going to be making recommendations to the board. All that committee will be doing is making recommendations. They have no final authority on anything. The final authority will rest right here with your Board of Trustees. I can assure you, we want to know what everyone thinks. I think as a community, we need to come together, put our differences aside, stop putting ourselves in these boxes to separate one of us and come united, and we need to make a change together. Not, like It doesn't matter if not everyone's happy. I, I, I would want everyone to be happy, but little changes will build, will eventually make a big difference for our schools, and that's what we're wanting. My question to the audience is, if the school is not willing to make any changes as soon as tomorrow, as soon as next week, how many of y'all are willing to get y'all's kids out of these schools? Please stand up. <laughs> we take this seriously. My brother's blood is not gonna be taken lightly. This is ridiculous. We are going to make change it is an absolute necessity now that we make change. We cannot have another incident. We all agree. The there said that we placed our trust in the district. And I just said, I was, I drove school bus. I was a bus driver here. I had my route for five years up and down 646. I stepped away for other reasons. This was completely different, losing my daughter. But as a bus driver, that district trusted me with a 23,000 pound vehicle every day and 60 kids to call my very own. And I did my job and I kept them safe, but they couldn't keep my baby safe. And they talked about bullying, that that kid was bullied, that the shooter was bullied. And I don't know if he was or if he wasn't, but I can tell you the amount of times I had to call a teacher and email somebody and move my kid out of a class because she was being bullied. They used to take her possessions off of her, call her names, call her weird. So I don't want to hear about that kid being bullied. It comes down like this and it comes down to it. We trusted them to care for our kids and they couldn't. We have to mitigate the risk of guns entering the building and it's by installing metal detectors with an armed guard and securing the perimeter. Six metal detectors were graciously donated to the district and y'all have yet to publicly acknowledge this. We have a petition for this and we have 1,467 signatures. That's one signature for each child in that school. 
you have you can put 20 officers in that building and arm some teachers but they can't all be in the right place at the right time without metal detectors no one will know all it takes is one kid putting a pistol and a couple magazines in a backpack no one's going to know he can unload every bullet in a matter of a minute or or so potentially killing the class before the officer or arm teacher can get in the room most of the students that I have spoken to are tired of the fighting and bullying. I know personally of several, several bullying cases. We got kids bullying kids, teachers bullying kids, adults bullying teachers and staff. This has got to stop. Our school is a hot mess right now and it needs to be fixed. We need None of these kids have a price tag on them, so please don't sit here and tell me you can't afford the security measures. Every aspect of the budget needs to be reevaluated. Example, needless spending and cover-ups need to stop. All this plays a role in the safety of the kids throughout the district. Covering up violence in our schools has consequences and it cannot be allowed to continue. Back in January, a student committed suicide for claiming of bullying. The past month tragedy occurred due, due to yet another claim of bullying. Students are saying the same thing. School violence is at an all time high this year. This can't be tolerated. If you all decide to put the rules and codes in place, then you must have a plan to follow through. Include the parents. My, sa my children's safety is number one to me, and it should be yours as well. I'm here to tell you that if I can't look my kids in the eyes and tell them they're going to be safe to return, they will not be enrolled in Santa Fe ISD next year. We aren't getting enough communication from you. We need more frequent emails, texts, phone calls, updated social media and website. Someone that interacts with the community concerns. Parents are angry and feel helpless because they do not feel a part of the process. They feel the district is hiding things. There's a lot of speculation on the security committee and whether it was formed only to save face. There is distrust that you will listen and follow the recommendations. You need to be more open and willing to hear the criticism. May I suggest a public forum to explain the process of how the committee was chosen, what their goals are, and how the school views its safety and security. Allow the parents to be heard. We parents face the challenging task of blindly trusting you to protect our children. The atmosphere of our culture needed to change yesterday. We need open, transparent communication, not having to hunt and sift through jargon to get answers and communication. If another tragedy ends up happening, we cannot have the lack of communication we had through this one. All of you that have the inside information have no idea what it feels like to have had no real communication or fluff with butterflies, rainbows, and sympathies. If you think I'm being overly dramatic, just ask anyone in the crowd. The parents were given clear communication on the tragedy that took place. Much appreciated. The administration did not communicate the intended plan on making changes. No hard feelings, but from this day forward, we expect the administration, the safety committee, the parents, and the community to be partners in protecting our kids with transparency. Because when the rules aren't enforced, whether it's locked doors, dress codes, cell phones, excuse me, cell phones, or whatever it is, well, we are now living the outcome of that. Um, and it needs to be across the board, whether it's one of your children, my child, the janitor's child, the principal's child, whoever it is, across the board they need to be done. And then you also now have at your disposal an entire community of people who are willing to help you and do whatever it is to keep our kids safe. Shame on us that it took a tragedy to pack a boardroom at a school board meeting, but shame on every one of you and everybody else who doesn't do something if this was to ever happen here again. So let's bring